Police say a student at, Mesquite High, at a Mesquite High School tried to hide a stolen gun he'd carried onto campus. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. A new school security policy helped police confiscate the weapon and arrest the student. It's just one example of tighter security at many school districts this year. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joining us now with the latest. Alex. Hey guys, you know, thousands of students have returned to the classroom this week and they're doing so with a lot of new safety measures in place. Now we know that some of those are being mandated by the state and others by districts themselves. And this incident at a Mesquite High School is uh, an example of how some of those changes are needed and also working. Mesquite police are trying to determine why a student at John Horn High School brought a gun to campus on the first day of class Monday. Police say 17-year-old Demarius Smith showed up to school with a non-compliant bag and began arguing when he was told to store it in a secure room. Police say a staff member observed Smith trying to conceal his bag among others. A canine officer trained to sniff out guns and ammunition searched and got a hit on the bag. A resource officer then opened it up and found the 9mm Ruger, which investigators say had been reported stolen. All of this came from enforcement of the district's new clear bag policy, part of a new safety initiative for this school year. Fox 4 got a look at the clear bags on Monday as students Students arrived at Mesquite's new Cross Elementary campus. A parent told us she was happy with the change. You can see what's going on here without reaching inside the backpack and it's safe for the kids. Mesquite ISD has also hired an additional 37 armed security guards for this school year. It's in direct response to a new state law that requires Texas public school districts to have armed security at every campus starting September 1st. The renewed emphasis on school safety came in response to the shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde last year. On Tuesday, you'll pick up some ideas. Uh, processes for building your threat assessment teams. The U.S. Secret Service Dallas Field Office and the National Threat Assessment Center held a free school threat assessment training in Irving. Dozens of school administrators, local law enforcement officers, and mental health professionals attended the conference. The more education we could do with our administrators, with our law enforcement personnel, with teachers, parents, to have them recognize uh, red flags. While the organizers did not want to publicize sensitive details of the specific threat training, the goal, they said, is to make Texas schools safer. To learn about how can they identify students that might be in distress or exhibiting concerning behavior, assess them to stop uh, a bad outcome from happening. And it appears that's exactly what Mesquite administrators, police, and staff did in this particular situation. I'm told that Smith has been charged with unlawful carrying of a weapon, which is a third-degree felony. The district also tells me that they're not aware of any threats that were made uh, to anyone on campus in connection to this incident.